Hi, I'm Leo Iridium. Hope everyone's doing all right today. It's album review time. So we got the band Scream Maker and the album Blood King. Now, these are a metal band from Poland, so something a bit different. This is their fourth album. Um, now, this was released on Friday, the 28th of January. It's got 15 tracks on it. Um, well, 14 tracks plus a little intro. So basically 15 tracks. Um, now, this is a new band for me. This, the first time I heard this band was when I listened to their and reacted to their song Mirror Mirror and I was blown away. Look at that reaction or look at the video of the band. Amazing metal track. Um, now this band are mainly a metal band. But I think there's some hard rock elements to them as well, for sure, with certain songs. And I'll go through the songs um, on the album anyway, as you know. Um, who do these sound like? They sound like quite a few bands, um, but they have got their own sound. But if you're actually talking bands yourself, definitely shades of Queensryche, Iced Earth. So they've got the darkness of Iced Earth. A bit of Accept, I would say. Um, Iron Maiden. A bit of Sabbath as well, um, and some new wave of traditional heavy metal sounds as well for sure. So um, this album, and I know I've said it a lot this year already, is an amazing album. Um, it took me really by surprise. I think when I heard that first song, I was just wondering if it was the rest of the album was going to be as good, and I am blown away. Is fifteen songs too much? Maybe. I don't know, but when you've got a, an album full of quality songs like this, maybe it's not. You know, it just depends on the quality of the album sometimes. I mean, sometimes I think albums are too long, but that might be the material that's actually on it. If you've got 15 great tracks, it's not too much, is it? So, um, as you can imagine, being from Poland, the band name's a bit hard for me to pronounce, but I'm going to give it a go. So you've got... Ajron Mash on guitar. <laughs> you got Bartosz Zielowski on the guitar. Now these two trade off some brilliant twin lead stuff, amazing guitar solos, really technical players. This album's really riffy as well. It's really riff heavy. Like I was saying it goes from full blown metal sometimes to other things that are more like hard rock, but brilliant guitar work all the way through. Um, Jasiek Radosh on the bass and Thomas Sebizek on the drums. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Brilliant. The, you know, the way they do pounding rhythms on this on this uh, album is just amazing. The bass and the drums work so well together. And it's their fourth album, so they're honed in. These guys are really honed in um, at what they do. Just brilliant, brilliant pounding rhythms all the way through this and last but not least Sebastian Stodelak I think that's how you pronounce his name on the vocals amazing vocalist hits some real heights he's got some aggression as well in his voice he's almost got some different sides to his vocals sometimes he sounds a little bit different he's, one, he's a bit of a chameleon with his voice he sounds fantastic um, but the heights he can hit are just it'll blow your mind it really will he's a really great vocalist and um in fact, it was one of the other best vocalists in the world, Dino Chalusic, that got me onto this band from sharing Mirror Mirror on his Facebook um, page. So that's what turned me onto this band. So great vocalists think alike, don't they? So this is a real quality album, guys. I, I, this is going to be a real contender for sure to be at the top of my list at the end of the year. I am blown away by this album. I do run through track by track. Let's just say that I might talk about all these tracks and that's saying something when you've got 15 tracks but um, we start off with invitation which is one a one minute intro but it does lead perfectly into the first track which i've already spoken about mirror mirror, oh, mirror, mirror tell me um, this was the single just blew me away superb galloping metal track complete with some brilliant J.K. Lee-esque sort of frenetic guitar work. Excellent chorus, but has sort of shades of Queensryche as well, helped by those brilliant soaring vocals as well. I mean, he's got a voice and half. I mean, absolutely superb. Mirror Mirror is an outstanding track 
it's the first track proper obviously because of the intro to start the album off then we go into the title track blood king thrashy sort of verses and some brilliant high-pitched um, vocals make way for an excellent pre-chorus that sort of slows down for maximum effect and then it's followed by another fantastic chorus with some brilliant frenetic guitar rhythms again outstanding song when our fight is over talk about that one next a really catchy riff drives this track it's the riff sort of sounds familiar um but it's just more like a classic metal riff um a slightly metal track this one than the, than the first couple but it's a real quality track that sort of balances the beginning of the album perfectly some very cool vocal harmonics as well next up is end of the world just as the title suggests, this is a real heavy track with some great sort of aggressive vocals mixed with some brilliant controlled vocal melodies too. This song gives me slight accept feels, I said at the beginning. Um, they remind me of accept sometimes, mainly because of the guitar work and the sort of groove of this track. Next up is Scream Maker. So I love the riff at the beginning of this track, which sort of comes in throughout the track again. Um, some cool sort of chanting backing vocals adds to the epicness of this. Love the medium pace uh, feel to this track as well. Next song I want to talk about is Join the Mob. Outstanding track. What a fucking great track this is. Some great picky guitar um, work in the verses and then it leads to an absolutely amazing monster of a chorus. What an excellent groove to this song as well. Absolutely superb. Die In Me is another one I want to talk about. This is a ballad, a change in direction here. With It's an excellent ballad, actually. Vocalist sounds great in his sort of lower range in parts of this song. The band sort of lead into a sort of classic rock territory a little bit, I'd say, on this one. It's a real dark ballad, though. Amazing solo. And, you know, I haven't mentioned the solo too much. I'm just going to say that the guitar work across this album in general is just absolutely mind-blowing. Some real technical stuff, really melodic. But it's a great solo on Die Me, as there is on all these songs. Next track I want to talk about is Power Lust. So the band are at their sort of chuggy best in this one. Absolute beast of a chorus again. The metal groove of this track is outstanding. An absolute chug fest. Amazing song. Next up is Tears of Rage. This is the next one I want to talk about. This is a slower sort of song and the doom music is explored in this a little bit, in this sort of plodding track. Alice in Chains comes to mind a little bit for me. Um, but for me, Alice in Chains were more, had more in common with Sabbath for me than they did with the grunge scene anyway. The chorus still has a great groove to it coming out of those doomy verses. Brilliant track. Petrifier is the next one I want to talk about. This is where hard rock is explored a little bit more. Um, if it wasn't for the vocals, it, this even feels a bit like a Scorpions track to me. Great riffing and melodic vocals make this an absolute belter. The next track I want to talk about is an absolutely brilliant one called Candle in the Wind. Not a cover of the Elton John track of the same name. <laughs> a lot better than that. It's six minutes and 23 seconds long. It's another delve into that sort of doomy feel, although not as plodding as um, Tears of Rage. This is an absolute monster of a track. Those verses over that chuggy riff is just outstanding. There's a very cool, dark, quiet part just past the halfway mark that sort of ramps up the epicness again till the track returns for sort of a more chuggy feel again. An absolutely ridiculously brilliant track next track i want to talk about is brand new start clean guitar and strings open up the track before the bands kicks in with another brilliant hard rock track a bit of a slight power metal feel to the chorus but no cheesiness inside this is real dark stuff another quality track too late ends the album now this is a ballad sort of divided into two parts you get clean guitar with vocals, then a slow, heavy chug with guitar melodies top off the rest of the track. And it's just an amazing way to the end the album. 
This is really recommended, guys. Scream Maker Blood King, available everywhere now. Absolutely outstanding slice of metal and hard rock. Totally recommended. I'll see you soon.